happening now is Dan Lawless here for West Ham Fan TV. And of course, we are fueled for the summer by the co-op. Please check the link in the description below. It does help us out. Give it a click, whatever. Check it out. But I'm here to give you my uh, quick instant reaction to the pre-season game of uh, Aston Villa 1, West Ham United 3. And um, amazing. We had a working stream. That was a start. It was on the Villa channel, although it was the camera work wasn't top notch it was a bit hard to follow sometimes where it was so bloody zoomed out but i don't care it worked from start to finish same west ham ain't been able to do in the last couple of games but overall it was a it was a great performance and um i think it was just it was just good to see us playing like such good football for most of the game i mean villa come out quickly um at the start i think they they were mostly on top for like the first 8 minutes or so you know they've got quite a lot of pace of villa and um, yeah, we were sort of back in our own, spent a lot of time in our own half and then we sort of eased into the game and um, got the first goal through a bit of magic by Mikel Antonio. You know, beat a, beat a couple of players, stuck it in the back of the net with a great finish and um, that's what Antonio does. That's why we need to keep hold of him. Yeah, it's only pre-season but we've seen him do stuff like that in the, in the Premier League. So, you know, I think to sell him to like, Palace for 15 million would be just a ridiculous business for what you know I, and this is the thing there's been a lot of talk about dressing room shenanigans or whatever I don't if there was that much of a problem you know he wouldn't be he wouldn't be playing would he like you think the dress if the dressing room would fill out with him and there was this big problem you know we'd be in a pirate situation that's my opinion anyway but I just think we've got to keep hold of him uh, no matter what, unless something silly comes in, but all oh, these fifteen, twenty million. Some of the some of the prices players are going for now. Obviously, we've seen Richarlison for upwards of fifty million. Um, you know, to sell Antonio, who is you know one of our best players on his day, for that little money would be ridiculous. Anyway, it's all about the preseason game. Sorry, <laughs> it's, yeah, um, yeah. Once we did the game, we played some great football and it. We sort of got a little taste on, on how we could look under Pellegrini and what st what style of football we could play. It's nice, uh, quickly, you know, one touch passes and um, yeah, it was it was just really enjoyable to watch. And um, apart from Yarmolenko, we sort of got to see probably close to our to our full strength team. You know what you're going to have. Whether you say we had Adrian in goal, whether it'll be Adrian or Fabianski, we don't know. Um, then you add at left back Masuaku, Zabra right back. You might have Fredericks, obviously, with his pace. But I thought Zabra did a good job. Um, and I think it was Ogbonna and Balbuena. Uh, you know, it's still it's still up in the air on who, who could be, you know, our first choice centre back. I think Ogbonna sort of got his spot locked down, but anything can happen. Um, then you had Declan Rice as in holding midfield. I should have done this bit at the start of the video, shouldn't I? Declan Rice in holding midfield, who that's that's where everyone's wanted to see him play. We want him to see him go there, see how he does. That's where he plays for Ireland. And we need a holding midfielder. And I think he'd done a really good job. And I think that's that could be the solution. Because we are getting so stacked in centre back and we do need a holding midfielder. I'd still like us to sign one. But if we didn't, I'd be happy um having Rice as that option. Because certain Certain times it depends, you know, we might go and play two up top and and play like more attacking against some of the lower sides and not necessarily have like a clear cut defensive midfielder. So we'll see. Um, yeah, and then you had Wilshere and Noble uh, in the middle who I thought played well together. Wilshere, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from him. He really gets about, he works his ass off and um, yeah, he's, he's, you know, his passing is, is really good. So um, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking Wilshere. And then, of course, we had um, debut, obviously, Balbuena's debut, and obviously the debut from Felipe Anderson. I'll go into a bit more about him soon. Um, Felipe Anderson and uh, Anatovic, and obviously Antonio on the other side, who I thought was, was class. So, yeah, like close, without, uh, light's gone off. without Yarmolenko, not including Yarmolenko, you're getting close to what could be our first choice team. So, it's uh, it was looking good. Like I said, quality quality style of play. Uh, and Natovic got another goal, which, um, you know, is just, what's that, four in three games now? He's really looking like he's going to be a really big player for us this season. And, um, yeah, it was great. Like, quality work from Masuaku and just, a you know, <clears throat> a great pass as well from um, 
Anderson, his passing is just class. Like some of the balls he was putting in, them through balls and, and stuff like that, is just real quality. And um, yeah, just a, a great finish from Anatovic. So yeah, I mean, all, all in all, it was a good first half. And then um, I think the second half, you know, we made a few changes, brought Anderson off for Snodgrass and. Um, you know, I think like earlier on in the first half, we sort of kept that momentum, that tempo, and then it sort of started to sort of die a bit, um, which I suppose is going to happen in later on in the preseason game, and uh, sweating here, um, and then Villa sort of had a bit more of a go, but um, yeah, we eventually got another goal through Snodgrass. All people, if anyone was going to score in this game, you know, he had to score against obviously Villa. He was a fan favourite of Villa, and. Um, yeah, it was. I think it was like a really, really good pass, really good ball from uh, an Alvich, good little through ball, and a great finish from Snodgrass. And it's an interesting situation, the Snodgrass situation, because Pellegrini obviously still wants to give him a chance. You know, for me, maybe, maybe keep him as a squad player. I'm still of the opinion that you know we probably should move him on. And um, but if we keep him as a squad player, you know, it might be good with with injuries and, and stuff like that. If he's if he's happy to play that role, um, and you know, and you know, he's he's a professional. I can see him, you know, fighting for his place, and it might bring out the best in him. But yeah, we've got quite a few wingers, so we'll see what happens there. If someone comes in with him with a good bid, you're gonna take it, ain't you? Um, but then yeah, so it ended three one. Obviously, um, a great shot from uh, his name Green or something like that or something like that. Uh, yeah, great shot from outside the box. And, uh, yeah, went in off the crossbar. And I thought, you know, there was nothing really Adrian could have done about that. But I thought overall he made some really good saves, like Adrian. So it's just going to be interesting to see, if, you know, if we have him in Fabianski. If Fabianski comes good, having two strong keepers. We just need to, like, have a consistent keeper for the Premier League rather than chopping and changing it all the time. But, yeah, it was a really enjoyable game to watch, I thought, for the most part. And, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how we do on Ipswich on Saturday I'm really gutted. All the tickets sold out. I couldn't believe it. Like me, I'm a last-minute Larry, so you know I'll, I'll go there. It's like, oh, the games in a couple of days. Oh, I better book them tickets. And then I see on Twitter yesterday, four thousand two hundred tickets sold out. I couldn't believe it. Um, so yeah, gutted about that. Then I went and made other plans, and then someone pointed out to me, "Oh, why don't you just buy it in the home end?" And I was like, you know, I didn't think about it. But it's going to be like a buzzing atmosphere. So everyone that's going to that. Um, it's really going to be enjoyable, whatever happens. Um, I just want the bloody season to start now. I just really, really want it to start. Um, really looking forward to it, you know, and seeing how we play in the Premier League and, you know, when we have our final squad and everyone's fit. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so far I'm loving the stuff that Pellegrini's saying and the stuff that he's doing. It seems like he's really taking control. So, anyway, that's that's my thoughts on the pre-season game and everything around with it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, did you enjoy the performance, or is it one of them things of it's pre-season, can't read so much into it? I mean, at the end of the day, you look at certain players and what they could bring, and you you, you can take something off it. Off it. It's more the performance and the results, and, and seeing how players are, that's why I enjoy it. But, yeah, let me know, guys, in the comments below. Check out Nicky's transfer update, talking about some of the players that we are supposed to be selling, since we've bought so many. Um, so check that out, he's just uploaded that. And uh, one thing left to say, come on, you Irons.